Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for taking some time out of your day today to watch the, this video. My name is Katherine Smith. I'm an applications engineer specializing in Enterprise PDM for Trimec. Uh, we're going to be looking today at transitions with conditional formatting for your Enterprise PDM workflows. Let's say that based on a selection on a data card, you want a file to go through a specific transition that's either going to notify a different group or user or potentially update the data card differently based on a selection from a checkbox an edit box, a combo box drop down, combo box drop list on the data card. So basically, for example, if I have this SolidWorks part card and this FDA checkbox, I want to have a transition that is set up to state if this box is checked, I want to notify engineering management and quality. I also want to have the data card updated for specific information um, referencing the FDA selection. If this checkbox is unchecked or not selected, I don't want to notify quality. I only want to notify the engineering and management group and I want a different bit of information pushed down into the data card. So how are we going to do that? We're going to use some conditional formatting within the workflow. So let's take a look at my workflow. I've got two different approve transitions here. The approved transition on the left has a condition that states the variable FDA which is tied to that checkbox. I have a comparison here text not equal to 1. So in other words unchecked. A checkbox has a value of 0 or 1. 0 being unchecked and 1 being checked. So you can either use text not equal to and have the value 1 or you can say text equal to and change the value to 0. So you have some flexibility there. If a file goes through this transition, the action is going to update the description to state not FDA. I'm also notifying only the engineers and managers in a dynamic selection. Also on the right hand side for the approved condition, I have FDA text equal to 1. So in other words, when it goes through this transition, it has to have that checkbox selected. And then for my actions, I'm updating the variable description to state FDA. So it's a little bit different. And for my notifications, I'm notifying engineers, managers, and the quality group. So we have a couple of different things happening based on which transition it goes through. So let's go ahead and see how that's going to impact our file. I've got a SOLIDWORKS part file inside of the vault and the FDA checkbox as you can see is not checked at this point in time. So as I go through the workflow submitting for approval and then approving, I want to point out that there's only one approved transition shown. So as long as the transitions to or more have the same name, the end user is only going to see one change state capability. So as I click approve, the system is detecting whether or not that FDA is checked and it's not. So the description here is not FDA. Let's go ahead and check out, make a change by checking that FDA selection and checking that file back in. So now when I go through and change state back to pending approval, so I can go through that approved transition one more time, what should happen is based on that checkbox being selected, we're now going to have the description update to say FDA. And we also sent out a notification specifically to the quality group as well as engineers and managers with a dynamic selection. So if you want to get additional information on the operators and the conditional formatting um, techniques, you can go to any computer that has Enterprise PDM installed on it and the default location for this guide that I'm about to open is C Program Files SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM Lang and GB for English. Inside of that folder is this administration guide and approximately at page 477 begins the information for the transition conditions. 
uh, this is for the 2015 version of the administration guide so it might be a little bit different based on which version year of enterprise PDM you have installed but if we take a look for the condition operators for the workflow transitions inside of the administration guide we have uh, a bit of information about examples and expression is, is true if etc for all the different operators and if we scroll down the text compare allows the use of comparison operators in the expression which is extremely useful so let's see the following table a little bit further down and we can see greater than less than <clears throat> not equal to percent sign which is going to be uh, essentially the wild card and then the underscore so using these different operators um, for your conditional formatting is going to be extremely beneficial to get you where you need to be when you're designing these uh, additional transitions. So thank you again very much for watching the video today. I hope that this has been helpful for going forward with some transitions with conditional formatting. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.